Unit 1 A Tiger in the House is written by Ruskin Bond. As the title suggests, here the main character of the story is Timothy, who is nothing but a tiger cub. The grandfather of the writer Ruskin Bond found a tiger cub, that is a baby tiger, in the Terai jungle. The grandmother of the writer has named the tiger cub Timothy. Timothy was first given milk by the cook whose name was Mahmood. Later on, the tiger was given raw mutton that is uncooked mutton, cod liver oil which is nothing but oil extracted from the liver from a fish called cod. Later on, the diet of the tiger was changed to pigeons and rabbits. That is nothing but the tiger was given pigeons and rabbits to eat. Along with Timothy, there were two other animals. The first was Toto the monkey. Toto the monkey was very brave and bold that he used to pull the tail of the tiger. And then when tiger was angry at the time, the monkey used to climb up the curtains. Another one was a small mongrel puppy found in the road by the grandfather. At first, Timothy was afraid of the puppy. He used to dart back with a spring if it came too near. Whenever the puppy used to come near, the Timothy tiger cub used to go away from him. After some time, the fear of the puppy drew away from the heart of the tiger and he allowed the puppy to crawl on his back and rest there. Timothy's used to like scaring the persons who used to play with him. This tiger cub used to come closer to the writer and suddenly he used to make a dash. Dash is nothing but he used to jump at the feet and he used to pretend, he used to act like he is going to bite his ankles that is his leg so during the in the morning the writer used to take timothy for a walk and people used to be very scared and they used to uh, walk away from them they used to give space to them and during this time timothy was uh, also grown and he became powerful enough because when timothy used to pull hard on his chain that is when he used to pull the chain the writer had difficulty in controlling him. Timothy's favorite place in the house was the drawing room. Timothy used to like the drawing room very much. Uh, he used to go to the long sofa and used to rest there. And if anybody tried to get him off from there, he used to snarl, he used to roar at them. Timothy, in spite of being a wild animal, he still had clean habits. He used to scrub his face with his paws exactly like a cat. That is nothing but paws are nothing but his hands. He used to scrub his face, he used to wipe his face, just like cats do. He used to sleep in the cook's quarters. And whenever in the morning when he was let out, let out is nothing but when he was freed, he used to be very happy. As time passed and Timothy became more stronger, he grew more older. When Timothy was six months older, there were few changes observed. He became very less friendly. That means he started becoming wild. So during the morning time when Timothy used to go for a walk, after becoming six months older, he used to scare the other animals. Then during the night, there was a poultry farm, poultry house near grandfather's house. There used to come a few noises from the poultry farm and in the morning there were feathers lying in the veranda. Because of his rude and wild behavior, he was chained more often, that is he was kept in chained. And one day he started scaring the cook of the house, Mahmood. At that time, grandfather decided that Timothy should be transferred to a zoo. As the grandfather decided to transfer Timothy to a zoo, which was in Lucknow, and 200 miles away from their house. So grandfather booked a first class compartment for himself and Timothy. 
because no one would be ready to share a compartment with a tiger and he handed over timothy to the zoo authorities and the zoo authorities were very happy to receive timothy now after 6 months grandfather during that time grandfather thought that he could meet timothy in the zoo now so the grandfather decided to go to the zoo so grandfather went to the zoo to meet timothy and when he reached the cage in which timothy was interned he was kept so what he saw was timothy was fully grown the tiger in the cage was fully grown so he the tiger also allowed the grandpa to put his hands on him on his head grandpa tickled his ear and whenever the tiger growled or roared he used to smack he used to beat him across the mouth and this was the old way of keeping him quiet he he used to u- use the same technique to control timothy in the past now timothy started licking the grandfather's hand while the tiger was licking grandfather's hand the leopard snarled at the tiger and the tiger was afraid and he went back so grandfather just shooed the leopard away then again timothy or the tiger in the cage continued to lick the hands of the grandfather now as the uh, people around who came to visit the zoo they have seen that a man is standing near the cage and the tiger is licking the hand they soon gathered there and they were watching the tiger and the grandfather after seeing the crowd the keeper rushed there keeper is nothing but the person who takes the responsibility of the animals he came there and he asked what grandfather was doing so grandfather said that i am talking to timothy that is the tiger and asked him 6 months back i gave this tiger at that time were you not there the keeper said that i have not been here for very long since many days he was not there the keeper and please continue with your conversation please you can continue as you were talking to your timothy you can continue that he said but also he reminded or warned that he was afraid of the tiger because the tiger was very bad tempered and because of it the keeper himself did not touch it till then so grandfather questioned that why this timothy or the tiger is kept here why can't you keep him somewhere else because the leopard near to him keeps frightening him and he also said that he would go and speak to superintendent about it the in charge about it after saying that he would meet the superintendent the grandfather went in search of the superintendent but he couldn't meet him because the superintendent went home earlier than usual so he was just wandering roaming in the zoo seeing different animals and finally when he wanted to return he went to timothy's cage as he wanted to say goodbye and when he reached there he started stroking and slapping timothy for about 5 minutes during this time he saw another keeper watching him the keeper was shocked to see grandfather stroking and slapping the tiger grandfather saw the keeper and identified him or recognized him that he was there when timothy had first come to the zoo so grandfather asked him you were there when i brought this tiger to the zoo so now why don't you transfer him to another cage so that the leopard cannot disturb him here comes the twist the keeper said sir it's not your tiger so grandfather did not understand what he wanted to say so he said i know that it, it's not mine now it's the property of a zoo but you can take an take a suggestion from me take advice from me upon hearing this the keeper said i remember your tiger very well he died 2 months ago after hearing this the grandfather was shocked and said died yes sir of pneumonia this tiger was trapped in the hills only last month and is very dangerous the keeper said that the timothy which was born which was brought 6 months back died within 2 months and the tiger in the cage was not timothy instead it was a very dangerous tiger after hearing this 
that the tiger Timothy died of pneumonia within two months. Grandfather had nothing to say. He was very much shocked. And during this time, the tiger was still licking his arm. Grandfather took away his hand, he withdrew his hand from the cage, and with his face near the tiger, he mumbled, "Good night, Timothy." He looked at the keeper angrily and walked out of the zoo.